We're going to multiply a three digit number by a two digit number using the partial product. Here's a caution, once students are solving problems where both factors are multi-digit numbers, they're usually ready for the standard or traditional algorithm because it's a more efficient strategy. However, it's not necessarily easier. If students are more comfortable using the partial product, that is perfectly fine. Here's how you do it with a three digit number and a two digit number. So we're gonna line them up vertically like we would standard algorithm. But like area model or partial sum, we're going to represent the value of each digit separately. So I know the six is in the hundreds place. We're gonna do 600 times the two on the second number, which is in the tens place, so that's 20. Then we know the five is in the tens place, so that's 50, and again, we're multiplying it by 20. And then the two is in the ones place, and we're gonna multiply that two by the two in the second number, which is has a value of 20. Then we're gonna repeat these steps with the nine, that's from 29. So again, 600, this time times nine, 600 or 50 times nine, and two times nine. So we have all of the factors that we're multiplying. Again, we can check. We know we took the first number and we broke it apart or we expanded it by place value and we multiplied it by a digit in that second number. So 600 times 20, six times two is 12. We have one, two, three, zero, so we know it's gonna be 1,000 times greater than 12, 12,000. We have five times two is 10. And then I have two zeros, so that's gonna be 100 times greater, or 1,000. And then two times 20 is 40. Keep going. Six times nine is 54. 100 times greater would be 5,400. This is not lined up correctly because there's four digits, so I'm going to rewrite that 5,400. There are five thousands, four hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. Five times nine is 45, 10 times greater than that is 450, so that's gonna be three digits. And then nine times, two, two times nine is 18. Then last, you want students to add all of those partial products back together to find the total product. So in my ones place, there are eight ones. In the tens place, there are 10 tens, so that gives us an extra hundred. In the hundreds place, we have nine hundreds. In the thousands place, we have eight thousands. And in the ten thousands place, we just have one ten thousand. So our total product is eighteen thousand nine hundred eight. I'm gonna rewrite that up here as our total product. We multiplied a three-digit number by a two-digit number using the partial product strategy.